You're probably not going to finish the project you're working on or the course you've just bought, and I think I know why. So let me explain. Let's say you've bought your new course or you've got a project, you've started it. There's a really high chance statistically that you will not finish it. What's really shocking is there's a very high chance that you might have bought a course and you're not even going to open it or start it at all. It always shocks me when I see the percentage of people that actually open the course that buy my courses. And I have done the exact same thing myself. I've bought courses and I haven't even downloaded some of them. I've purchased them, never downloaded them. And the same goes for some great project ideas I have. I say I'm going to start that tomorrow and I just completely lose the motivation and it's gone. Often it's a lack of time, but there is a lack of motivation as well. The idea doesn't seem quite as good the next day when you actually have to get in there and start working on it. And we give ourselves all sorts of excuses like this. The reason I bring this up is because recent experiences have led me to think there might be a solution. So over the last few weeks, I've had lots of fun running an art program. And what surprised me the most is that people have stuck to it. They keep going. And I know this because we have about 100 people on there and they all submit their assignments at the end of the week. And you can see that most people are continuing to go through the program. We also have a live call each week where we look at people's work and most people are turning up to that live call. I was really expecting because as we progress through the weeks it gets gradually harder that people would just slowly drop off as they do with courses. So why are people sticking to the program but they don't seem to stick with it when it comes to a course? The teaching content itself is very similar but there is a major difference. And that difference is accountability. As I've said, at the end of each week, there is an assignment to complete and they have to hand that in. And it's actually a peer pressure and this accountability that seems to be pushing people forward. It's a very positive thing. It's not a negative peer pressure that you might expect when you're told about this at school or something like that. This is actually a really positive thing where people are encouraging each other, giving each other advice. And because of that, they're all excited to put their work forward and say, look what I've done. And they're excited to hand it in. So that accountability with the assignments and that positive peer pressure coming from the community is absolutely vital. So here's my advice to people that are kind of stuck in tutorial hell or maybe course hell where you start the first few lectures but you can't get much further or you've got a graveyard of half finished projects on your hard drive. What I think you need to do is find some sort of program to follow. Not necessarily a game dev TV program, there's lots of programs out there. I think it does help if you pay for a program but you could let's say get a group of friends and decide to buy just a course but go through that course together and have that accountability. I think there's three factors at play here. There's the no-show factor. So you've got to show up and your community is expecting you to show up. They've put some effort into you by encouraging you and you want to respond to that positive pressure by showing up and being a part of it and encouraging them as well. And yes, it does help if you've paid for something because that gives you that added pressure as well. There's not just the community pressure, but there's the pressure from yourself thinking, well, I've paid for this, I wanna get my money's worth. So there's a commitment to the group and there's a kind of commitment to yourself to not waste this opportunity and this money. The second one is the shared energy and that is really important. There is a communal factor. We are communal creatures and we really bounce off the energy of others. So if you can find a positive community, especially one where they've all paid as well to be part of this, then you are going to get so much more from that. You can all celebrate in the successes of individuals' projects and commiserate when something hasn't worked. And the third one, which is more specific to programs, is the expert accountability. So you've got an assignment and there's a specific time where you have to hand that in and they will be giving you feedback. Those shared deadlines of accountability combined with the shared energy of the community, as well as your own pressure of having to show up because you have paid for this and you have put the time aside and the effort into this, all that seems to come together to a critical mass where you just continue going. And I think that's the crux of it. That's why I would recommend this. That's why I'm having lots of fun myself because I'm finally seeing such development in the 3D artists that are coming out from this program. And some of the work is really phenomenal. And it's not just down to me, it's down to that community aspect. So that's what I believe will get you out of that tutorial hell, course hell, or graveyard of unfinished projects. And like I say, I'm having lots of fun being involved in this project and leading these people forwards. And in fact, that's where I need your help. I'm thinking about the next program. It's either going to be a 3D animation program or a 2D game art 
program. So let me know in the comments below which you would choose or if you have any questions about that. The 3D animation one, it would be very much animation program agnostic. So you could choose Maya or Blender or whatever it might be. And you just create assignments of animations. I think that'd be really good fun. Or a 2D game art one. Again, it doesn't matter what program you use or whether you're even using a computer, you could even do it all hand drawn, but about the fundamentals and again, having assignments and project and kind of practice sessions. I think that would be really good fun as well. So again, comment below, let me know what you would like to see. And for all those interested, if you're into game dev, there is the game dev TV indie program about to start this weekend. So there's the last few days of sale if you want to jump on that. And maybe you can finish that game which you've been working on on and off for the last five years. Follow the link in the description to find out more about that uh, seven week program starts this Sunday. Also let me know if you have any ideas yourself for the type of program you would like to see. Lastly then let me know if you've got any tactics or techniques for finishing off your projects or carrying through when the going's tough. Let me know again in the comments below. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.